In this session, we're going to review how to enable drivers, dispatch, and messaging in your system. We'll also discuss how to manage vehicle assignments to ensure that you're accurately tracking and reporting on the drivers who are driving each of your vehicles. You start by going to the Setup tab of the system and then clicking on User Accounts. If your system did not originally have the Dispatch and Messaging module enabled, you'll see a checkbox titled Enable Dispatch and Messaging. When you click this checkbox, you are turning on the new features in your system. Right off, you'll notice that the User Accounts tab has changed and is now called User and Driver Management. Click on this tab. The User and Driver Management tab is where you will create new users, set up their access levels to the system, and assign them to the vehicle they will be driving. Just a quick note, users can also manage their vehicle assignments through the mobile app and we will cover that shortly. You can see that there are three different user types, administrators, limited users, and drivers. We will discuss each type. The grid also shows you each user's name, it shows their assigned vehicle, and shows whether or not they are part of the group. We will only discuss groups briefly in this session. To add a new account, click the Add New Account button. This opens the Add Edit Account window, where you set up new users. For each new user, you input their account email address and their name, then you select the type of user that they are. For each user type, the system explains what each user type can do on the right-hand side of the window. An administrator user has complete access to the system, including all system settings and billing information. A limited user is essentially an admin with limited abilities. A limited user cannot modify global system settings, add new users or vehicles, or update billing information or order devices. When you assign a limited user to a group, they can only access and manage vehicles or drivers that are assigned to the same group. A driver is a new type of user. Drivers can only access the system through the mobile app, and they can only view their own driving information. When you set up a new user, the system will automatically send the user an email letting them know that they are set up in the system and how to install the mobile app. So let's talk about vehicle assignment. With drivers enabled, you can now gather more detailed information not only on your vehicles, but also on the drivers who are driving each vehicle. You can assign a vehicle to any user type, not just drivers. To ensure accurate system data and reporting, it's vitally important to have anyone driving a vehicle update their vehicle assignment. Within the User Setup screen, you can assign a vehicle to the driver at the time you create the account, but all users can also manage their vehicle assignments from within the mobile app. You can also manage vehicle assignments on the User and Driver Management screen. Simply click in the Assigned Vehicle column next to any user and you can select from a drop-down of the vehicles in your fleet. If your drivers never change vehicles, you should only have to do this once. If your drivers change vehicles frequently, then you will want to coach them on the importance of keeping their vehicle assignments up to date through the mobile app. Let's look at vehicle assignment through the mobile app. When I launch the app as an administrator, for the first time, You'll notice that a pop-up informs me that I need to keep my vehicle assignment up to date. If you select Not Now, you will not be prompted again until the next time you use the app. At the top of the app, you'll notice a blue bar showing each user their current vehicle assignment. If you click this blue bar, you are taken to the Vehicle Selection screen. By selecting a vehicle, you are assigning yourself to that vehicle. It's that simple. On the main menu, administrator users will see an option for driver management. This option is not available to driver users. Clicking this option gives you a list of all your users and their current vehicle assignments. Click any individual and you get details on their current status. Click the blue bar and you can reassign the driver to any vehicle. Notice that the available vehicles for a driver are limited to the vehicles that are in the same group as that user, if you're using groups. If not, you'll see all vehicles. If you select a new vehicle, you have reassigned the user. 
the mobile app will provide a notification to the user that their vehicle assignment has changed. As I mentioned earlier, you can reassign a user from within the system itself on the user and driver management page. If I reassign user Banny to the white truck or the green truck, let's say, and then click Save All Changes, the system updates and informs me that I have updated the user assignment. Here's an example of the type of notification that the user receives on their phone. If I swipe the notification and log into my phone, I'm launched directly into the app. I can now see that I'm assigned to the green truck. This concludes our session. For more on dispatcher messaging, please look for the video icons at the top of the dispatch and messaging panels in the map screen.